Okay, so hello again. We have learned what an eigenvalue is and an eigenvector for a particular transformation. Let's put all these pieces together and start with a transformation just given in verbal terms and see if I can find out all of its eigenvalues, all uh, of some representative eigenvectors, and then find the eigenspaces for the eigenvalues that I'm talking about. Let's start. So the transformation I want to do here, let's just keep it simple still, going from R2 to itself. And I'd like this to be another flip, but I'm going to flip it. Uh, we're going to flip R2 uh, around the line y equals x. y equals x. So it helps to visualize these things, obviously. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to plot the, uh, again, y axis there, x axis here, and probably would help to have the line, the actual line y equals x in here. Let me just uh, switch colors to maybe yellow. Okay, there is the line y equals x. I'm going to sort of flip all of R2 around this line. So uh, what's going to, so I'm, in, I'm interested in finding out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. So you can maybe able to guess what the eigenvectors are already. And I'm going to flip around this, uh, this um, y equals x line here. Uh, anything that's on that line to begin with is going to stay fixed. Okay, that, so anything on that line ought to be an eigenvector. Maybe anything perpendicular to it I really got to work on my vector drawing skills, but anything perpendicular to it is just going to get reversed, it seems like. So we have a sense of where the eigenvectors lie just by knowing the motion. To actually calculate those eigenvectors and eigenvalues that go along with them, um, we, it'll help to convert this into a matrix. So let's think about, uh, let me just clear these guys out, and let's think about uh, the standard matrix for this transformation. So to get that standard matrix, I'm going to draw the uh, standard basis vectors starting with one, zero, and I'm going to think about where it goes when I flip it around the line here. And then I want to do the same thing for 0, 1. So when I flip 1, 0 around this line, it's just going to end up here at uh, 0, 1. Okay? And so when I'm thinking about forming my standard matrix here, this is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And the first column is going to be the image, the transformation of, zero, of 1, 0. And that's what it is. Now on the flip side, so to speak, of this, if I start with 0, 1, what's its transformation look like? Well, it's going to flip back into this position. So the transformation of 0, 1 is actually uh, 1, 0. Okay, so there is my standard matrix, which I'll just con continue to call A here. All right, so what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of X here? So one thing we do not know how to do at this point is, given a matrix, how do you come up with its eigenvalues and then come up with its eigenvectors? We'll get to that later. Right now, let's just take, use our visual tense to tell us what the eigenvectors are. If we can find the eigenvectors, we should be able to find the eigenvalues. So we think that anything that lies along the line y equals x ought to be an eigenvector to begin with. Let's just see if that theory is correct. So let's pick a vector, a non-zero vector, that is on uh, the line y equals x. Uh, let's just say the simplest such one is 1, 1. Okay, so let's take 1, 1 and run it through a transformation. So the transformation of 1, 1, okay, is uh, 0, 1, 1, 0 times 1, 1, because remember any transformation can be thought of as matrix multiplication, and we found the standard matrix that does it, and this comes out to be 1, 1. Okay, so what that tells me is two things. First of all, um, 1, 1 is an eigenvector for my transformation, or if you like to see it this way from uh, for my matrix, it's an eigenvector. And another thing we tell, know is that since 1, 1 transforms into 1 times itself, then lambda equals 1 is an eigenvalue. And there's actually a third thing we can find out too. 1, 1 is an eigenvector, and so is everything else that lies on the line that 1, 1 sort of traces out. If you can imagine a line just shooting up through, of course it's the line y equals x, if you can imagine a line just sort of shooting up through 1, 1, that everything on that line will also have the same eigenvalue. So the line y equals x is the eigenspace, eigenspace for lambda equals 1. Again, that means that every vector that lies on this line, you can check this out on your, on your own if you want to, every vector that lies on the line y equals x is also an eigenvector for this matrix with the same eigenvalue lambda equals 1. Now, another eigenvector we thought we should expect to show up here is something that's perpendicular to this line. 
So what's a vector like that? Well, let's take, uh, for example, something like the uh, transformation of negative 1, 1. That would be a vector that hits that line perpendicularly. Let's see what that, uh, is that really an eigenvector? Or do we just sort of think it is. Well, this is a 0, 1, 1, 0 times the vector negative 1, 1. And what does that give me here? That's going to give me 0 times negative 1, 1 times 1. 1 times negative 1 plus 0. Okay, so this is also an eigenvector. Uh, and I can tell, I just don't have much room on the screen here, so I'll just talk this out. So 1 negative 1 is also an eigenvector, and its eigenvalue is lambda equals negative 1, because the transformation of that vector is negative 1 times itself. And so, if I look at the, again, the line, I'll just try to draw a straight line here this time. If I look at the line, that uh, goes through that vector, like so, like this, then that line contains all the eigenvalues, or all the eigenvectors that have lambda equals negative one. So that line there is the eigenspace corresponding to lambda equals negative one. So given a transformation, we can think of it as a matrix, we already know how to do that, and if I know the transformation and have a sense of how it works visually, then I can guess what the eigenvectors are. If I know I have an eigenvector, I can pretty quickly find the eigenvalue, and then I can find the eigenspace.